Well, good morning. So today's video, I'm telling you, it's all about Mac curriculums. And I'm gonna give you a flip through and a see inside. First, of course, we have products of the day. So let's get to those. Okay, first I wanna show you, this is my Us Born Reading Library. Pardon my water, my notes to talk about. Okay, so this is the Us Born Reading Library. I'm telling you, it's super cool. It has 50 books. And it's got things like Rapunzel, Rumpelstiltskin, The Little Mermaid, but it also has The Gingerbread Man, The Three Little Pigs, The King's Pudding. So it's just got a variety of different and at different reading levels as well. And in the beginning, it'll give you a hint in some of them as to which words are gonna be used in here. So I, I mean, I definitely recommend it, definitely. I think it's great. I think it's great. Second product of the day is another animal poetry book. I know I showed you one before, and this one's different. This one's by National Geographic. And I think it's cool because, dur, 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 look it, it's got pictures. This is also one of your free things today because you can get it at the library. It's got pictures of the animals, which I like. So the ostrich is an ostrich poem. I am a baby porky pet. So as to, if I could only choose one animal poetry book, I'd go with this one only because it's got actual pictures of actual animals, which I think is super cool. But the other poems, they're a little classier, I will say. And it, I mean, if you're into paintings and poems and that are classier, I would go with those. These ones rhyme a lot more and I like that, but it's again, personal preference. Okay, so next up, I got two math games for you. First, let me give you my math idea. If you wanna teach your littlest kids, this is how I taught them subtraction. I would take three balls of Play-Doh, roll them into little balls, so I had three balls of Play-Doh, and then I would say, okay, we got three, and I would smash two. And then I'd say, how many balls we got left? Oh, we just did subtraction. This is a mathematics game. So it's got six different games inside, and I like it. This one is very, it's snakes and ladders. But you spin this and it's plus two, plus one. And then this one is the honey bees, the num bees. And it's, those are my two favorite out of this, but it has them for quite a few different age ranges that you can use. Okay, and one more math game. Oh no, wait, I got the three little piggy. I got a three little piggies game to show you too for products of the day and another math game. This is some swamp. Oops, this is some swamp. I really like it. It's addition and subtraction game. And see, it's very simple. So you roll the dice there and it's got like, you know, three plus four, and then you move those spots. So you can make it as complicated, as easy as you want. It takes about 15 minutes to play. I think it's great for the grade one age level. This is Three Little Piggies. This is a solitary game. You know, I'm big into solitary games. The reason I'm big into solitary games is because you can play them as a team. So there's two different ways to play this, the daytime and the nighttime. So let's say we just put our piggies down here and it's like, okay, well, we gotta put the piggies in a house. So then you have to solve this puzzle like this. And there's different ways to solve the puzzles. Okay, so I'm just giving you an example. And then of course there is the wolf that can come and hang out as well. So is it my favorite solitary game? No, I, I have a ton of them and I like others better, but it is, it is an option um, for even the youngest. So all of them though, all the solitary games st do starter, junior, expert, master, so you can go all the way up. So it's just, I think it's just personal preference. And I just like the other ones I've showed you in different videos, uh, those I like better. Now, tomorrow, I wanna show you a super cool homeschool schedule. If you're open to it, I will show you a super cool homeschool schedule. I'll also show you my schedule as well. They're two relaxed schedules. And the one I'm gonna show you tomorrow was this woman, she has homeschooled for 10 years and her second child just finished at the time of the post where she showed the schedule, had just finished uh, doing her high school exams. So it's an effective way to homeschool, but it's also not, not the hardest way to homeschool, if you will. We're talking math curriculums today. So there's a ton of different ones I wanna get that I have tried out, that I have used personally, that I wanna show you. Basically there's Mastery and Spiral, there's Mastery and Spiral and everyone has their favor. Everyone acts like theirs is better than someone else's. I'm telling you, everyone does. And really I've done both. They're fine, they're both fine. You know, like, it, is your kid gonna be a mathematician? Even if they are, you can still choose any curriculum. And if they get up to a level where it's like, hey, I, you know, I wanna make sure I know this stuff really well. Like going into high school, I wanna make sure I've nailed this stuff. Well, let's go and see what they study in high school and let's go back and, you know, in that year and let's cover those topics. Let's go over those topics on the internet. Let's, you know, through videos, let's cover it the year before. Let's pick up some online math curriculum before that. Um, that cover those. So it's not like this is the end all be all of decisions. Like 
However, I get it when you're on a curriculum and you're always like, oh, is sex and math better than this? Like, am I missing out on something? Because this seems so gentle. And the truth is that I really don't think it makes a difference. I honestly don't. I don't. So if your child is having difficulty with spiral, spiral math is, we're talking the good and the beautiful. We are talking Saxon math. That's what you grew up on. Most of us grew up on spiral math. I do not like spiral math. That is just my personal preference. I am not good at math. And so when I see it, I get intimidated. I get confused. Spiral math is like, okay, we're gonna learn a little bit and then we're gonna learn a little bit of this and then we're gonna learn a little bit of this. Then we're gonna go back and we're gonna review the first part and cover that again and then cover this again and then cover this again. I don't like that. That's just not my particular type of learning. So just keep that in mind when you're learning and when you're looking through these curriculums and what I have to show you today. So this is the good and beautiful. So free curriculum is good and the beautiful and Khan Academy. Khan Academy not uh, isn't like a religious type of curriculum and good and the beautiful is probably the only religious type of curriculum we have displaying for you today. So take a look, it is to buy it. I believe it's free, but if you wanna buy this box, it's $25 for this box. It comes with some counting sticks, some little movable fellas and some cars. Okay, so. Let's go through, I'm gonna show you spiral math. Now, no matter what math you are using, you're probably only gonna go up to a certain grade. Don't expect that this is gonna last you for the rest of their school year or their schooling career. You might switch and switch to online, like teaching textbooks or switch to something when they get in around fifth or sixth grade. Because a lot of, there's a lot of new curriculums or different curriculums that come up then. All right, so this is it. You're learning like the numbers one, two, three. Okay, and you're matching those numbers. So, so far, my son really enjoyed it. We're like, okay, we're doing it. We're doing pretty good. Let's trace one and two. So it was an enjoyable curriculum for him. This is the good and the beautiful, $50 a year, approximately. A good, enjoyable curriculum for him. Was he gonna sit there and color and match? No, he was not. Okay, I get it. <laughs> I don't know what happened here, except maybe I didn't pay attention for a few minutes when he was done his lesson and he went a little nuts. But here you start and then you're basically going to direct them under this bridge and over that bridge and through this and things like that in order to get them used to practice position words and stuff like that. So it's, see again, then we start getting into, see, so we're learning and then we're going back to this again. We're going back to the number printing. So to me, it's all over the place, but that's because it's spiral. I don't like spiral, but to each his own. And every time I say I don't like the good and the beautiful, it's not that I don't like the good and the beautiful. It's good and it's beautiful. Any curriculum you pick is fine. It's just personal preference as to what works for you and what is okay with you. Let's look at a, a mastery math, okay? So we're gonna look at a mastery math. Now this one starts in grade one, so it assumes you know how to, this is the review. So it assumes you know how to count, how to, you know, you know your shapes, you know patterns, you know how to write numbers, things like that. So this is just a little review, you know how to count. Okay, so this is all a review. Now this can be done in a spiral way because some people are always afraid like, oh, but if I do this and then we move on, he's forgotten this. You don't, see how many equations they give you? You don't do all of the equations and then you go back and you do some of them. So it's not like a, oh, this is it. No, that, that's, not, that's not true and that's not the case. So this is, can you see how it's like, okay, make two groups, make two groups, make two. Now I did this with my really young kid, even though, um, so this was above his level. So it's, it's a little crazy, but he understood, like he drew a line there because he understood separate two and three. Okay, so, so this is very open and go, no prep. You just sit down and open it and, you know, look at it. It's pretty, it's straightforward and I like it, but it is, you're gonna stay on one topic till you master it and till you move on. And it does it all different types of ways that you can possibly, possibly imagine. Um, possibly, possibly imagine, and then you move on to the next one. Okay, so it's very thorough, if you will. Uh-huh, hello my little munchkin. Okay, so let's talk about another math option. So we today, just today, me and my son were using Khan Academy. I wanted to try it out for math. Now Khan Academy, I like it and I think I'm gonna incorporate it into our days and like 10 minutes of Khan Academy just because I didn't want them online so I don't want a full online curriculum. But here at least it's either review if they do math or they're learning a concept that maybe I didn't thoroughly teach yet. And so, okay, so next up we got Another mastery I'm going to show you. So this is, it's not the cheapest math, it's not the most expensive on the list. 
but it is, I do recommend it for older children who need to go back and learn and maybe they're not sitting still or maybe they, they're not grasping the concept or maybe they can't hold a pencil, but they but you can read to them. If you have an older child that you can read to, really any child, I'm just giving you an example. So let's go, oh, this is just, okay. So this is how this book works. All right, so chapter 10, big numbers. So this is part of, this is part one, D. So they go A, B, C, D. And then you can get a practice book on top of this. It's called the guide or you don't have to, and they do it online as well. So these were just the cartoon, the <laughs> cartoons, the comics that I bought because I like this concept. So it's easy to follow because the green one does the green, the light green does the light green. So it's very simple. These have extra, like, look at this. 101 can be read as 101 or just 101. We think it's fine either way, but we'll usually leave out the word end in this book. So see that? So it just, I just think it's kind of a gentle way to teach maybe older children who, you know, need to learn these basics, but don't want to look at a baby book or get intimidated and don't want to sit and stare at a math book. And then here is reading numbers, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. I mean, you don't need me to read you. <laughs> you get it. You get it. This part, when I got here though, this I found confusing, the number cross puzzles, I find very confusing. I was trying to do it and trying to figure it out. So like first we write using the number using digits, so 57, and then 567. So then five would go five, six, seven, and then, you know, six, seven, five. So it was, for me, I like it. I found it challenging for my age. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know if that's a, I've never seen that top before, but again, I was never great at math. So that's why I prefer mastery. Uh, hold on, I'm almost done. So for mastery two, there's the Singapore, dimensions. So Singapore math created an American version, Singapore dimensions. The reason I don't care for Singapore dimensions and the reason I don't care for right start math is just the amount of the, like just the amount of work that has to go into as a parent and working with them. It's just not my favorite. It's not my favorite, but I'm not saying it's not good. All of these maths are good. It's personal preference, but also I love another one. I think it's a Becca. I'm pretty sure it's a Becca has um, one that I really like as well a math one, also a good math. So I wanted something really, really good that didn't take up a ton of time. And math with confidence for me is the winner. It may seem gentle and it is gentle, but again, I'm gonna pair with Khan Academy. I like math with confidence created by a woman who, she has dual degrees in education uh, from Harvard and mathematics. So that's why I like it. So it's spiral and it's mastery, it's both. It seems very simple when you, when you start off because it is not workbook based. So it's one page is workbook based. And not only that, so there's a lot of math curriculums that are the best. They have different ways to conceptualize math because you don't, as a child, you can't always picture stuff in your head right off the bat. So look, this is a lesson. It's showing five pennies and how five plus one. So this is just a random lesson. This is because we're working on the number six today. It shows you six with fingers. It shows you six and egg. Like, so it's got half a dozen ways to show you six six using a five, uh, a 10 frame. So it has all these ways for you to conceptualize six. It also teaches subitizing so that you really, and some, most teach subitizing, uh, but some, there are a few programs that don't teach subitizing. Subitizing is the easiest way to add. Okay, so this is like your basic lesson. These books here teach you like the different, just information as to why you're teaching things. All right, so it's not very teacher intensive. Like you. I mean, it's teacher intensive, but for only like 10 minutes, you know, where you're showing them, okay, how much is this? All right, let's do this. Okay, pick out seven counters, because now we're working on seven. And then they would go to the corresponding page in here. Watch out, you're about to see some crazy stuff. <laughs> Look at this, I know. Like, yeah. However, <laughs> however, it was done. So that is what counts, so seven. And then you would do, okay, here's five write the circles that match, okay, to make it match. So so that is why I like it. Another reason I like it, they're all uh, priced about the same. Saxon Math you're gonna find is more expensive. Beast Academy, a little more money. But essentially, The Good and the Beautiful, if you were to buy it and not print it, all $50, $50 a year. Math Mammoth, $50 a year. Math with Confidence, $50 a year. And so same with, I think, same with the Apologia. No, not Apologia, a Becca is also uh, $50 for the year. I think so. Um, anyway, those are, I guess my top favorite maths would be Math with Confidence, Math Mammoth, and the um, 
the Abeka one as well. Now the Abeka, I think you're gonna get into Christianity through the curriculum. I didn't go far enough into it to see that I noticed that I can recall, but it is from Abeka, so probably. Okay. So lastly too, you also have these little number puzzles. If you're like, see this is kindergarten, but you can start it in preschool. And it's basically just counting, ordering, and it's only five bucks, nine, 10. And I looked at a lot of free math curriculums and that's where I found the, the Khan Academy and decided to finally sit down and try it out. Um, was the, the Khan Academy, because I was looking for free curriculums, but I didn't want free online curriculums. I wanted free curriculums that were actually printable that you can do. And Core Knowledge doesn't have one for that age. They have one for grade six and up that's printable that they've done, but not younger. Okay, so I think I've covered it all. Oh yeah, the one last thing I wanna tell you is one of the benefits to Math with Confidence is that in the back here, I have torn them out, but it comes with like all the supplies you need, not all of them, but a lot, like look, here's the, the pattern block templates. If you do not have money for pattern blocks, this is the money. If you don't have money to buy, you know, a money set. It's got 10 frames in here, so it really, she really thought of everything. So coming up tomorrow, I have, oh yeah, I wanted to show you products that are definite nay that I would not buy again. I would not buy the scales. I bought the scales and I bought these, these counters. Like they were tens, so there were ones and then a 10 and then a hundred and then a thousand, right? And I bought them all just to show the difference in them and so they could be able to hold them. And it was really a waste of my time. I could have just shown them a YouTube video kind of so that they could grasp the concept um, as well if I wanted to instead of paying $20 for this thing that they didn't use much that I thought I would pair with the scales to, to weigh and measure. And really the scales, I mean, no one used it. I have like these dreams of people coming in and being like, oh, today's the homeschool. I'm gonna pull, you know, very Montessori. Let me pull this off and play with this and use this. And it's like, no, <laughs> no one did. And then I thought I would pair them together. Like let's put 10 ones in one and let's put a 10 in the other only they weren't weighted appropriately, so it wouldn't have evened out. Like, so the whole thing, so finally, I, I yeah, finally I got rid of them. Please wait to the five. Yes. And, and hit the bell for notifications.